Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you track icons in Reaper. Now, there's really only one purpose for using track icons, and that's for making it easier to see what instruments are playing on which tracks. If you have a really big project, it can be hard to tell what's on each track. You can use colors like I did right here, but using icons is even more obvious. So let me show you how to use them. We have some drum tracks here, a bass track, a couple of guitars, and a vocal. So let's put an icon on the drums. We'll select them all by holding down Shift. We'll go to the track menu and go down here on the track color to track icon. And we can choose set track icon. It's going to default to this folder with a bunch of track icons that are included with Reaper. As you can see, there's a bunch of them. So for drums, we'll go down over here and choose the drums icon. And it puts an icon on these four tracks. It looks like a drum set. And if we want to get more specific with it, we could choose our kick track and just add a kick icon to that one. But instead of going to the track menu, let's right click and go down over here to track icon, which will do the same thing. And this time, we'll look for kick. In fact, I could type in K and it scrolls down to the icons with that letter. So we could choose this one. And now we have a kick drum icon on this track. And we can add a snare to this one, symbols to the overheads, or any other icons you want to use. Let's go to our bass track though. This is a bass guitar. And instead of right clicking it, let's add a keystroke to make this quicker. Let's go to our actions. Let's type in track icon. And right over here is an action we can trigger to make this quicker. Let's add a keystroke to it. I'm going to choose I for icon. Then we can close it. And now we can choose tracks, hit that keystroke, and it opens up automatically. So for bass, I'll type in B. And over here are a bunch of bass icons. We have bass clef, bass full, bass one through four. I kind of like bass four because it puts the tuning pegs for a bass guitar, making it obvious what's on that track. But another one of my favorites for bass is using bass clef. And that puts a bass clef right on the track. Again, making it very easy to see where our bass guitar is. Instead of looking for the name or even the color, we can see the icon right there. Let's say another one for guitars. Let's select them both, hit the keystroke, type G for guitars, and we can see there's a bunch of guitar icons as well. I'm going to choose this one right here, Guitar 5, and it looks like this, which reminds me of a Gibson ES335, but that's my personal preference. And then finally for vocals, we could add a male or a female icon for our singer, or we could choose a microphone. Let's choose it. Type M for microphone. And we can see there's a bunch right here. Let's choose this one. And it looks like this. Again, making it easy to see what's on that track. Now we could also add our own custom icons. If we go to an internet browser and do a picture search, let's say we're using a U47 for our vocal mic. Let's type in U47. And right over here is a U47. Actually, it's a U47 FET. So let's download this to my computer by right clicking it and saving it to downloads. We can go back to Reaper, hit that keystroke, go to my downloads folder, and choose it right here. And that brings in that picture we can use as an icon which is kind of a great way of remembering which mic we used on this vocal. Now, besides seeing track icons in the track control panel, we could also see them in the mixer. But by default, they don't show up here. But if we right click over here, we can go down here and choose show track icons in mixer. And if we choose that, 
all the track icons show up in our mixer. Again, making it easier to find our tracks and to know what's on them. Here's our drums, our bass, our guitars, and our vocal. And in big projects, this will save you a lot of time. And if you want to hide it from the mixer, just right click and deselect show track icons in mixer, and they don't show up here. Well, if you don't want to see them in the track control panel, just select all the tracks, right click, go to track icon, and remove them. And now our track icons are gone. So that's pretty much it. That's track icons in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Oh!